splash, splash, splash. Hey guys, it's another sunny, beautiful, hot, very hot day in Columbus. And we are in the pool trying to beat the heat. Uh, we've stayed inside most of the day, but now we've come outside um, because Anthony is going to mow. And so I thought we would come out here and watch him and support him. <laughs> and Gray would be in the pool while we watched him. So Gray never stays in the pool very long. So we'll see how long he lasts today. I've gotten better at like needing to fill it up before we want to go swimming so that the sun starts to heat it up. Otherwise, it's like it's too cold for him. And I wish we had like a hot water spigot. We only have a cold water spigot. I've seen some people on YouTube and they've built houses and they have like a hot water hookup and a cold water hookup. And I think that's so awesome. I wish we had that. Unfortunately, this next week is just supposed to heat up into the 90s. So we're just trying to beat the heat. Grayson has the right idea. He loves his swimming pool. I fixed it so now I have like part of it in the sun and then I ha do have a little shaded spot so if he gets tired of the sun, he can sit in the shade. I'm not sure if he really understands that, but I did it for him. And then of course I lathered him with sunscreen. It's funny having a baby because myself I don't ever use sunscreen I don't burn and my skin just tans very easily and naturally so I'm not used to putting on sunscreen so it's like I have to remind myself whenever we are outside for an extended period of time like I need to put sunscreen on him because first of all he's a baby he has sensitive skin and second of all he has Anthony's pale skin and so he will burn very easily Anthony does not tan he only burns so I have to watch out and make sure that I'm applying enough sunscreen and at the right time. And so it's just like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. I have kind of goofed a couple times and I didn't put sunscreen on his face when I should have. And his cheeks are a little red, but I don't think it's too bad. So what do you guys to do to beat the heat in the summer? Let me know. Leave a comment down below. I know a couple people have like... Um, like pool passes where um, our the Columbus Zoo has a really awesome water park I know a lot of people have like water park passes this is what we do well don't drink it he coughs and then he drinks more <laughs> but I hope you guys are having an awesome summer we're about halfway through the summer now school back to school is starting up I, uh, I went to Meyer the other day and they already have their back to school supplies starting to come out. Their backpacks are starting to come out. My sister is a teacher. She's starting to talk about going back to school. It's just crazy because I feel like summer just started and it's so, so hot, but already people are back in the back to school mood. And it's crazy to think like two years from now, I'll be getting Grayson ready to go to preschool and he'll be doing back to school. I always loved back to school as a kid. I loved supply shopping and I love I just loved school so I hope Grayson's like that I hope he he has a love for school because I sure did Turtle. Oh, is there a turtle? 
his like fish print in the bottom of the pool and there's a turtle over here. Yeah, there's the turtle. Is he green? We're really trying to work on my colors with Grayson so he can learn. He can't say colors yet, but for him to like recognize like, oh, this is yellow, this is green. So we're working on it. There he goes. Not scared of walking on the grass anymore. He does not like crawling on it though. See Daddy? Yeah. There he goes. He's mowing. Jason likes to sit right here on my lap and watch Daddy mow. One day, Grayson will be the one mowing. <laughs> That'll be great. Can I go in the pool again? Go in? Good morning, guys. I hope you are all having a great day. Grayson is in the back here eating breakfast, and we are just getting ready for the day. Um, I have somebody coming over to the house to check the pipes. Um, and then, unfortunately, the worst thing is happening today. I'm going to the dentist, and I hate the dentist. I hate going to the dentist. Do any of you hate going to the dentist? Let me know. I just get cavities really easily. Of course, Anthony, on the other hand, he never gets cavities, never has had a single cavity. Wish I had his mouth. So thankfully, my sister Allison is coming over to watch Gray. Oh, do you want to be on the vlog? What are you eating this morning? Oh, he wants more banana. Do you want more banana? Please. Okay, let me get a knife. Hang on, I'll get a knife for you. He's okay. He's very impatient. Okay, is that all better? I gave you more bananas now. He actually prefers it when I just give him like a whole piece of a banana instead of like cutting it up into little slices. Because you're just a big boy, huh? So, yeah, I have the dentist, and Allison's going to watch Grayson for me, which will be awesome. I'm hoping I have no cavities. I haven't gone in a long time, so we'll see. I'll update you afterwards and let you know how it went. It's really hot out, and so we can't, like, take Grayson to the park because it's too hot. So you only have to do things inside, which is kind of limited. But, yeah, that's kind of what's going on today, and Grayson's loving his banana. Can you say Banana. I gotta go get more for him because he eats them like crazy. Where's the blankie? <gasps> oh, you give it a hug. Oh. <laughs> what are you eating? Oh, going after Felix. Hey guys. So I am editing this video right now and I realized that I never gave you an update on how my dentist appointment went so that I would just throw this clip in here real fast to end the vlog. Um, so I ended up going to the dentist. Again, I hate the dentist. I've just always gotten cavities. I just have bad teeth from my dad and so it's never good news whenever I go to the dentist and I just don't like how personal it is with them all in your mouth all the time. I don't know. It's just not for me. But anyway, I, I went. I hadn't gone in a long time, so I knew I was going to have cavities. And I was right. I had five cavities. So it's a bummer. Basically, they told me that um, basically I just can't handle pop. So some people, they can handle pop just fine. And they can drink pop every day, all day, and their teeth wouldn't be affected. But me, I have really bad teeth. And so even a little bit of pop just creates cavities like crazy.
So they basically told me to stop drinking pop, or if I do drink pop, I should drink it when I'm eating food because the food would act as a barrier. So I'm basically just going to try to stop drinking pop. I don't want to say like I'm going to give it up because I really enjoy drinking pop so I don't want that to be gone from my life forever. I used to drink pop every day, like I used to buy it at the store in cans and then I stopped because I got really bad cavities and then I was like oh I'll only drink it when I go out to eat thinking I don't go out to eat that much. Well apparently I must have been going out more than I thought I was. So now I think I'm just going to do it as like a once a month thing or maybe just on like really special occasions when I'm feeling like a pop. And that's it. And I won't drink it. Like, I used to buy it at the grocery store, and I would just drink it by itself, not when I'm eating food. So that's a bad idea. So I'm not going to do that anymore. And I'm just going to try to, like, cut way, way, way back because I'm tired of getting cavities. So I have to go back to the dentist, unfortunately, and get the cavities filled. Thankfully, they can get all of them done at once. I have four on the top right of my mouth and then one on the bottom left which stinks because I'm gonna have to get shots on both sides now I wish they were all on one side but of course there's one on the bottom so unfortunately I have to go back thankfully Allison can watch Grayson again for me which is really nice but it's just such a bummer that I have to go back and I'm gonna have to get shots like I hate getting shots in my mouth from the dentist like man but Whatever, what can you do? So, yeah, I have to go back, but then after that, hopefully I will be done with cavities for a while if I just stop drinking as much pop. They told me that I, um, to drink sugar-free gum, that that would help a lot, but I actually hate gum. I know that's crazy, especially because my husband, Anthony, he loves gum and he eats it every day. I hate gum. I just, like... I don't understand the purpose of chewing the same thing over and over again and it loses flavor and then you have to spit it out. Like, what's the point? And then, since I don't ever eat gum, if I have it, like, every once in a while, it actually will hurt my jaw muscles to, like, chew for that long. So, I just don't do gum. I haven't in a very long time. So, that's kind of out. And then they also did say to floss more, which I'm terrible at flossing, so that is something that I need to work on. But yes, I finished with the dentist. Part one is done. Part two, I have to go get cavities filled. So I'm sure I'll keep you updated on that. But yeah, so I think that's all for this vlog. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know who you are. I love to meet, you know, all the people watching my vlogs. And give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.